All right, let's get to work. Another one, Water Dragon Relocation. Let's do it. So apparently there is a water dragon that lives in the caves at the entrance of the water temple. Water dragon? You mean like a serpent dragon? Not quite, but serpent dragons are kind of related. I'm talking about a, Lotho a Lothiathan. The, the Lothiathan? You mean that legendary aquatic monstrosity is living in the caves? Well, yes, but it's nothing to get flustered about. What do you mean not to get flustered about? We're talking about the same Lothiathan, aren't we? He does live there, but he doesn't do anything. To put it simply, he just goes about his business and doesn't bother anyone. Saying that, he is a monster though. Just being there puts a, in the nearby residents on edge, so the chief of the water sect and the guild have put out a contract on him. Lord Falsa is at a loss of what to do. He isn't causing much trouble at the moment, and antagonizing him the wrong way might cause him to rile up the whole sea. Yeah, creating unnecessary trouble is good for no one. So I came up with a brilliant plan. I thought of giving him a new place to live. The royal family owns a private beach and just happens to have a cave much like the one at the caves at the entrance to the water temple. I went and asked him to kindly move and he complied. You asked it to move and it did? The legendary Leviathan? The very same. I had Philo escort him there, but there was really no need as he was very cooperative. Quite the gent. What a princess. She goes and asks the scariest Lothiath in history to move, and it says yes. There is a slight complication, however. There are monsters already living in the caves. You guessed it. Serpent dragons. They are really stubborn creatures. They wouldn't listen to a word I said. That is where you come in. I need you to go in and clear the, those obstinate slither, slitherers out. They're not quite a Lothiathan, but still, they're no walk in the park. No, you are quite right. There are two of them, and they're hiding. This is tur turning out to be a serious task. So I've got to fight hidden serpent dragons and drive them from a dark cave. It's not all that bad. Well, at least it's better than the whole sea getting riled up and our boat getting stuck in the harbor at Hambaforte. Standing around with your arms crossed like that isn't going to get those serpent dragons out of the caves. Come on, off we go. This princess sir knows how to drag us into battles, don't we? We'll see the epilogue of this. I kind of feel sorry for those serpent dragons. But they shouldn't have have a say on where they live anyway. They understand it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, so they shouldn't stay angry. Says Princess Matrice to the serpent dragons as they fled toward the sea. They didn't stop to turn back or look in the least bit like they were holding a grudge. Right, let's go, and bring the Lothiathan to his new home. He already, he really accepted moving with impeccable grace. Let's treat him with the same courtesy and respect he has shown us. So I guess I finally get to meet the Lothiathan. Your clothes are filthy, we'd better get you cleaned up and into something more respectable. Let's head back to the castle. We're going, you're, we're going to see a true gentleman. We can't have you looking, looking like a scruff. It's terribly unbecoming. Don't worry about the price. Let's call it gratitude. A thank you for always accepting my task so willingly. Wow, did the princess just thank me? Holy shit, the She's princess stra me. being strangely nice, as if she was only acting like, always acting like this. What are you standing around? Hurry up. We don't have time to waste. Oh, there she is. Oh, well, that was pretty short-lived. Guess that was. Mountain Guard. Prologue. We meet again. It's the peculiar redhead, again. Just on my way home and I bump into Luca. It's a bubbly girl who was hired to protect us that small village. Wow, what a coincidence. Whenever I bump into you, I've just been tasked with something tricky. This has got to be the will of the gods. Ignis Raja is always watching over me. Luca must be a lancer as she believes in the great fire spirits. Wait, didn't she just say something about a tricky task? So apparently the dragons of Slavara Mountains have been very busy recently. They have, tur they have turned the area into a, hu into a dragon stronghold, and breeding is ram rampant. To feed their younglings, they have been stealing crops from a nearby village. That is where you come in. The villagers want us to scare the dragons so they don't come back to the village, as slaying them would be pretty inhumane. 
They want us to make them understand that if they won't be pleasant if they fly into the direction of the village. Shall we be off then? We have a few mountains to climb, but it shouldn't be too much of a trek. Whoa, hold your horses. When did I become we? What are you, what are you saying? You helped last time, but you're not going to help this time? Job is to help people in trouble, is it not? Besides, you don't look busy. Come on, please, pretty please. You're right about me not being busy, but I was on my way home and I'm kind of tired. When there are people who are who need your help, being tired is no excuse. When we're done, I'll give you a massage. It's decided then. Let's go teach those thieving dragons a lesson they won't forget. You better get that give me that massage or I'll fucking call bullshit. Call bullshit! Phew, that was a good day's work. I guess the dragons won't be bothering the villagers again anytime soon. And I made a little pocket money too, so where are we going next? Looks like I'm stuck with her again. Her lance skills were pretty impressive though. I haven't seen anyone as young as her wield a lance with such finesse. What's up, you're amazed at my awesome skill, are you? Aren't you? Thought so. As a reward for your help, I'll teach you a trick or two. You sure? Yeah, of course. It's not like my skill is gonna run out or anything. If it doesn't involve a reduction in my pocket money, I'll gladly reward you. You helped me out twice already. It's the least I can do. Okay, then. Teach me your best moves. Alright, let's begin. I still owe you that massage. Remind me when we're done. Luca was a really good teacher, and her massage was amazing. I feel like I got the better end of the deal. It's strange, but I'm kind of looking forward to the next time I see her. It's definitely weird. Yeah, well. Next one. Tribute to the absent. Oh, are you leaving? That's right, it was your day off, wasn't it? What's that? What's a good gift to give to a uh, uh, Brutlian? Hmm, I guess flowers are a safe bet. They are beautiful to look at, and when you get hungry, you can nibble on them. Oh, you figured out what you're gonna get? Okay, see you later. Heading out. Meeting Philo somewhere? Oh, I won't pry any further. Enjoy your day off. And perhaps flowers are the safest bet after all. Right, flowers it is. There's bound to be some nice flowers out in the forest. I wonder if Philo is still here. I better be off before it starts to get cold. There's a simple stone monument built on top of the hill with a great view. Philo and I made it by stacking rocks we found nearby. Philo is standing in front of the monument with her eyes cast towards the ground. Oh, you're here again. You know you don't have to keep coming up here. This monument is just a symbol so that I don't forget. You know? I'll place the flowers in front of the monument. It's not a grave. More of an expression of hope. It's a gravestone for King Val. A symbol of our promise to resurrect him. Pretty nice weather, huh? Let's rest here for a while. It must have. It must be the fine weather because we can see the R Regavas continent. Let's make a promise to the land that he vowed to protect. We'll bring you back one day, King Val. Rescue of the... Rescue the Limmy Min. Limmy Min. Alright. Limmy Min. Prologue. Hey, wait a minute. The expedition Limmy Min still hasn't returned. Limmy Min. You're right. A whole day must have passed since we sent him out. A whole day, that fuzzy little little fellow usually comes back within half a day of the longest. I hope nothing has happened to him. Anyways, this caramel is delicious. Says Philo as she pokes the cake she got at the at the new cake shop. Forgetting about the caramel. What about the ex expedition Lim Limimin? Starting to get a little worried. I remember he said that he was heading for the mountains. Should probably go and see see if we could find him. You're right, I'm starting to get a little worried too. Well then, have a safe journey. Philo can you do scoffing on her caramel tart. Typical. Guess I'm on my own once again. He must be around here somewhere. Hold on a sec. I think I hear crying. Oh, it's the poor Lumi Min. So that's how those cute fellows cry. The expedition limited was caught in a tree crying his poor eyes out. Sounds like kind of... Sounds kind of like a cicada chirping. Are you going to help me or are you just going to stare at me? He isn't being very polite for someone asking for help. I guess I guess helping him would be the right thing to do. 
Forgive me, old chap, I didn't mean to cause offense. My bag seems to have gotten caught in the tree and I can't move. Would you be a gent and help me down? I untangled his bag strapped from the tree branch. So this is what was keeping him from coming back. Splendid! I can't thank you enough. I was gathering some items for my knapsack when a horrid-looking creature spotted me. The rascal didn't listen to reason, so I made a dash for it. Fortunately, a gust of wind carried me off and I escaped him, but I ended up in a sorry state in which he found me. I really do owe you one, dear friend. Never really thought of how tough it is out there for expedition limimins. Guess you have your share of ventures too, huh? Let us be off then. It's not safe here. That horrid creature is still somewhere close by. It's still after you? Yes, I found some exquisite looking eggs, so I tucked them away in my bag. The parents of the eggs and a large group of other riffraff have been chasing me ever since. What? You better hand that ba egg back right now. I most certainly will not. I tend to head back and have a good old English briquet. I'm sick of eating gem scraps. I need some real food. Whoa, it looks like they already found us. Let's let's try and drive them back. Righto, I'm right behind you. I shan't let you down. If they get me, my ghost will come back and haunt them. You really are a strange creature. Yeah, it really is. That was superb! My eggs are safe, and we really knocked him for six, didn't we? Time to give back the eggs. Not a chance, they're all mine. Give. Them. Back. Okay, okay, no need to get your knickers in a twist. Together we went back to the monster's nest and returned the eggs. I never really spoken much to an expedition limited before, but he was but he was an assertive little guy. Seems the type to get into trouble often. I'm betting he'll need my help again someday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming he will. Next time, guys, we got more stuff to do. More uh, dialogue to read. I'll see you guys later. Peace to Crispy. Bye, everyone.